My name is Sakumichi Sakuna. I work at a company that produces stationary goods, and I'm 23 years old. I like my work a lot, so I'm a workaholic. I know it sounds like I'm showing off, but since I've joined the company, I've been working hard at my job and have gotten tangible results. And when I was looking at how my desk neighbor was doing... Oh, there's one extra digit here. Oh, that's right. Thanks for telling me. Also, I think if you make this a little bit more easy to understand, that might be good. That's true. I'll fix it, though. My name is Mizuhi Mizuna. I joined the company at the same time as Sakuna, and I am 23 years old. But Sakuna is always looking after me at work. How miserable. I should just... I think I'll turn myself in for causing you so much inconvenience. Hey, no worries. There's not much inconvenience, so calm down. Nobody would arrest you for such a thing. I don't think it's inconvenient. But... You might not have noticed yourself, but the number of mistakes you're making has become less. I think it's because you're continuing to work hard. So forget about turning yourself in, and let's continue to work hard together. We both joined the company in the same year, so it's natural to help each other, right? Sakuna, yes, I will do my best to be able to catch up to you. I guess it's too much for me to even say that I want to catch up with you. That's not so, Mizuhina. You're being too modest. For me, I have always had a lot of fun when Sakuna helps me out and encourages me and talks with me during my break times. I like Sakuna a lot. If he is ever in need of help, I wanted to be the first one to be there for him. But, well, it's probably unlikely that such an excellent person like he would ever be in need of help. One day, as I was crossing the street on my way home from work, a car came straight into me as it ignored the traffic signals. The car crashed into me, and I collapsed onto the road. After that, I was carried to a hospital by an ambulance. I received treatment at the hospital, and my life was not in danger. The doctor told me that the recovery will take about three months, but I was facing a major problem. Memory loss. According to the doctor, it's not for certain how long this condition will last. What should I do until my memory comes back? I was anxious, and as I was pondering on what to do... Sakuna, I was given permission to visit you, so I came here. How are you feeling? Uh, sorry. Who are you? I work at the same company as you. I'm Mizuhi Mizuna. I'm sorry. I've suffered memory loss. What? Really? Yes. The hospital staff checked my belongings and told me my name, address, and the company I work for. But I can't remember. Then I will support you until your memory comes back. I will do anything that I can to help you, so please, let me know. I am happy that you say that, but I can't inconvenience my colleague. Family members, I guess, would be alright. But I heard my parents have already died. He is such an insincere person. But does he think that a family member would be alright if he needs help? Or even if it's not a family member, but someone who is close to him? Maybe he could rely on that person without any hesitation. Sakuna must be full of anxiety to be told that his parents have both died and he has no memory. I want to help him! He always helps me. I like Sakuna! Then... Uh, I am your girlfriend. It's like your family, so I would be happy if you could rely on me without worrying about anything. What? Is that right? I'm sorry that I can't remember. I feel so bad for lying to him. But this is so that he won't hesitate to be supported. But is it really alright for me to ask for your support? Of course! You were always quite needy, so it's no problem. I was needy? How embarrassing. I'm sorry to say that you were needy, but this way, it would be easier for you to be helped. I was so anxious because I had lost my memory. But thanks to you, I feel a little better. I'm glad that you're here. That I have such a wonderful girlfriend, although I have no memory. I'm a very lucky guy. Wonderful. Wow, thank you so much. When I am complimented like that, I feel more guilty to lying to you. But this is so that Sakuna will not hesitate to get support. When his memory returns, I will apologize to him wholeheartedly. 
Maybe he won't forgive me and will come to hate me. But it doesn't matter if I can support him. After that, Miss Mizuhina came to my hospital room almost every day. Also, she stopped using formal language and started using casual language to me. I bought you some hospital clothes, but how is this one? <laughs> Isn't that a little too cute for me? You are cute, Sakuna, so I don't think it's a problem. Well, I would feel a little shy about wearing it, but since you got it for me, I guess I should. Okay, I will wear it. I'm clumsy and I can't peel fruit very well, so I bought some canned fruits. But the bananas aren't canned. I can peel bananas very well. Peel, 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 right? Ah, uh, right. Okay, open your mouth. Uh, okay. It's yummy. I'm glad. I prefer yellow peaches, but how about you? I think I prefer the same. I'm glad we like the same thing. When I saw her the first time, I thought this. But she is really beautiful and cute. I think you're good at handling wheelchairs. <laughs> the nurses taught me how to handle wheelchairs. Thank you for doing that for me. You're welcome. Please, call me the master of wheelchairs. She always supported me and made me feel happy and comforted. She was my source of hope in the darkness of my memory loss. I could continue to look forward to each day because she was here. And after I was discharged from the hospital, I went to a restaurant to celebrate my discharge with Miss Mizuhina. Congratulations on being discharged. It's wonderful. Thank you. It's because you helped me. I picked up my courage and asked her something that had been on my mind for a while. You know, when I checked my phone, there was hardly any record of us talking to each other or exchanging messages. There are also no pictures of us together, either in my phone or at my house. Does that mean... Did he realize that we weren't actually going out? Was I such a cold guy to not even call or message my girlfriend? And not even let her take photos together? Oh, that's not it. We started going out only three days before you had your accident. That's why there weren't many phone calls exchanged or messages on your phone. All of these lies piling on top of each other. This feels guilty, but there is something left that I have to do. Oh, sh I'm so glad that I wasn't such a cold-hearted guy. Of course you're not cold-hearted. And since you have recovered from your injury, I thought maybe you could try this. Ta-da! This is a notebook planning out how to regain your memory from the evil spirit of memory loss. Evil spirit? Yes, the god who took away your memory. In this notebook, there are many details regarding memory loss and the things that may be useful in regaining one's memory. There were many pages written in the notebook. The notebook was filled with her kindness wishing for me to regain my memory. Thank you. You're so very kind to do so much for me. Really? I'm your girlfriend, so it's only natural that I do that. Please continue to rely on me, at least until you get your memory back. When his memory comes back, well, even if his memory doesn't come back, I want to be able to repay all the help he has given me. On our day off, we went to the stores which were written in her notebook. These were places where I had gone before I lost my memory. They could help me remember my past, so we decided to give this strategy a try. I guess I liked comic books. Yes, you said you came to the store after work often. Oh, this is the comic book that you said you liked. It's called Unpopular Girl, and it's about a twin sister who makes it big in the media world after her sister became popular. Do you remember? No, not at all. I see. Then I will introduce you to the comic books I like. Isn't this a little off track from our strategy? I thought we were trying to get my memory back. Well, but I want to know what kind of comics you like, so I guess it's alright. Sakuna, you said that you like cheese a lot, and you often came to this store. It's true that even after I've lost my memory, I still feel that cheese tastes great. Oh, this cheese steak is so yummy! It melts in your mouth, and there's so much cheese on top of this juicy steak! But my memory hasn't come back. I see, but let's enjoy the food today. Hmm, I couldn't remember anything in particular today. Well, we don't have to rush. Let's take it slow. That's right. 
We were walking on the crosswalk leisurely. A car that had ignored the traffic lights came straight at us. But I took her hand and we avoided the crash just in time. Mizuhina, are you alright? Yes, thanks to you, I'm alright. Are you okay? I'm alright, but... I feel like I've had this situation before. I had a flashback of the accident that I was in a few months ago. And in a similar situation, this worked as a trigger and all my memories started coming back. My memory is back. I remember. Yes, I remember. Oh, great. That is really wonderful. <laughs> yes, I remember you as well. We joined the company in the same year and you sit next to me in the office and you were not my girlfriend. Uh... Mizuhina, where are you going? Mizuhina ran away at great speed. I was worried about leaving her alone, and I ran after her. But she was so fast that I could not catch up with her. I ran and ran after her. When I finally caught up with her... Why are we on a boat? This is so I can escape from the country! What? Sakuna, I am sorry that I lied to you that I was your girlfriend. I had decided that I would apologize to you when your memory came back. Now that I should apologize, I was overwhelmed with feelings of guilt. So the only thing left for me to do is to escape this country. Wait, calm down. You had your reason for lying to me, right? Why do you think so? Because you saved me. I was filled with anxiety because of my memory loss. But you supported me, so I didn't lose hope. And I could continue with my life until now. I don't think that such a kind person would lie to me without any reason. Sakuna... I'm glad that I was able to help you. The reason why I lied that I was your girlfriend was because I thought that way you would be having an easier time asking for help. You're the kind of person who tries to do everything on your own. So I thought that you would hesitate to ask for help from just your colleague. But you said that as a family member would be someone you could ask for help. So I thought that as a girlfriend would be someone else close enough so that you wouldn't hesitate seeking help. That is... Something you did all for me? You were doing that in order to help me. You don't need to apologize. Your lie helped me. You supported me mentally. So... But I had a thought. What did you think? If you didn't get your memory back, then I could continue to be your girlfriend. Because I like you so much, I couldn't help thinking that for a moment... I am the worst. You were struggling because you lost your memory, and I thought I wanted to continue being your girlfriend. If I continue to be your girlfriend, it means that your memory has not come back. So it's not something I should have allowed myself to think about. I can't forgive myself for this. Mizuna, but I forgive you. Why? Because even if you had really wished that my memory wouldn't come back, then you would never have helped me to get my memory back. But you did a lot of research and thought about my condition and made a notebook for me so that I could get my memory back. You prioritized me over your wish. So you shouldn't say that you're the worst. I think you're the most kind person I know. So you shouldn't say such a thing. It doesn't suit you at all. Thank you. You exaggerate, but thank you. Yeah. And you want to continue to be my girlfriend, right? Well, if you put it like that, it's a little embarrassing. But yes, that's right. What about it? If so, please, let me grant your wish. I also like you very much. You're so honest and kind, and I was attracted to you for those reasons. So I want you to continue to be my girlfriend. Yes, then please let me continue to be your girlfriend then. Sakuna, I like you so much. This is how we became real lovers. But we had a major problem facing us. That was... If we stay here, we'll end up out of the country, right? That's right. We need to ask the staff if they could turn this boat around. I hope they'll do that for us. I'm not sure, but let's do that. Yes. After that, we asked the crew to let us return, and they granted our request. And we went around all the people who were inconvenienced by us. Oh man, I think I've apologized enough for the rest of my life. I am so sorry. It's because I thought about escaping out of the country that... 
I had to make you apologize so much. <laughs> you take such extreme actions. Well, I think that's one of your attractive points. Promise me, never run away from me again. Yes, I will always be with you. Even if I lose my memory again, I'm sure I will fall in love with her again. Our love will not lose against any kind of fate. What are those two doing? They're wearing really worn out clothes and are moving about strangely. Could they be shoplifters? My name is Ryuhei Wada. I go to a university in the city. I came to the convenience store late at night to get something to satisfy my hunger. That's when I met this strange mother and child. What are they really doing? They just keep on looking at food. Judging from their clothes, maybe they have some problems. But to help them as a stranger would be... Some people say a small kindness is a huge nuisance. What should I do? Mama, I'm hungry. Sorry, can you hold on a little longer? Yeah. Should we go up to the store? Yes. Uh, oh man, what a conversation. I wish I didn't overhear that. Since I heard it, I can't just do nothing. Excuse me! Yes, what is it? If you would like, please, take this. I bought a little too much. What? But... It's fine. Please, take it. Otherwise, I would have to throw them away. Then, thank you. I would like to accept your offer. Wow! There is a lot of food in there. It's great, isn't it, Aerie? Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry to ask you such a question, but what do you plan to do now? I thought you might be having trouble with money. Do you have a place to stay tonight? There is a park over there, so I thought we should sleep in in one of the playground equipment. You and your daughter? That's the only place we can find shelter from their wind and rain. On the road, you need a companion. In life, you need kindness. Isn't that what people say? If it's alright with you, you could come to my place. What? But... Mama, I'm sleepy. Very. See, your daughter seems tired. I can't just leave you here since I've already gotten myself involved. Then, thank you. I took the mother and child, who were wearing worn-out clothes, back home with me. I'd had them first take a bath. I lent them my clothes. But was it alright? Thank you so much for your help. Thank you, mister. Sure, no problem. Is anything else the matter? Oh no, wow. I couldn't tell because they had been dirty before, but she's really a beauty. Oh, uh, I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is Ryuhei Wada. My name is Makiko Shima, and this is my daughter, Eri. I'm Eri. Nice to meet you. That's a nice name, Eri. I want to talk with your mother. So would you go to bed now? No problem. Then I will sleep on the mattress. So, Miss Makiko, why were you in such condition? Do you have some troubles? It's a very common story. My husband is a terrible person, and I couldn't bear it any longer. So we ran away. Terrible? He did many things to me which are already too terrible to say out loud. He doesn't work, but he's worried about what people say, so he didn't let me work either. I was trapped inside the house for days, and I thought both my daughter and I were going crazy. That's what I thought, and we ran out without bringing any of our belongings. That's why I was at a loss as to what to do without my phone, wallet, or ID. If there is no ID, I can't earn money either. I see. This is quite a difficult situation. If she goes back home, who knows what her husband would do to her. If you two wouldn't mind, why don't you live here for a while? What? I live alone, and since I'm single, I have some savings. But... I can't let your daughter sleep outside. That's true. Thank you so much for everything. This is how my life with Miss Makiko, Eri, and me began. Good morning, brother. Wake up. It's morning. Morning. Just a little longer. Come on, wake up! It's morning! Okay, okay, I'll get up. Mom is making breakfast. Good morning, Mr. Ryohei. Good morning. That looks really delicious. Sorry, I used things that were in your fridge without asking you first. If I can eat such a wonderful breakfast, please, use as much as you like. Thank you very much. I think I can give it my best at my part-time job and university classes. <laughs> I hope you have a good day. Yay! 
Happy Feather! What is this happy morning? This is the best! Well, what should I do now? Hey, don't sigh. Your happiness will escape from you. Manager! The person who spoke to me was Masaki Kinoshita. He's the manager of the lunchbox store that he's running. And this is where I work part-time. What happened? It's rare that you'd be so deep in thought. Well, actually... I see. You picked up something quite incredible. I'm also surprised at myself. I'm not sure why I did such a thing. Then maybe she could work here? What? If she's got no ID, she couldn't work anywhere else. It'd be hard for you if they're inside the house all day long. Mr. Masaki, is that all right? Yeah, yeah. I was just thinking about hiring additional part-timers. Mr. Masaki, thank you so much. Sure, no problem. I'm home. Welcome home, bro. Welcome home. Wow, the room is so clean. Together with Mom, Eri cleaned the place. You did that, Eri? Thanks. And dinner as well. Thank you so much for everything. You're letting us stay here, so it's the least we could do. Oh, Miss Makiko, you need some money that you could use freely, right? Yes, that would be helpful, but I can't work. I talked to my store manager at my part-time job about your situation. He said that you could work there. He also said it's alright for you to bring Eri to the store. Really? Thank you so much, Mr. Ryohei. I can't thank you enough for all that you're doing for us. No, I just spoke to Mr. Masaki, that's all. So, would starting from tomorrow be possible? Of course, I will do my best. The next day, Miss Makiko and Eri came to my workplace with me. Hello. Hello, my name is Eri. Ah, oh, Eri. I'm Masaki Kinoshida. Brother Masa. Hey, Eri, uh, I'm so sorry for that. No problem. So, Miss Makiko, I heard that you're really good at cooking. Good. Well, I enjoy it. Miss Makiko's cooking is the best! If you don't eat it, it would be such a waste! Oh, you exaggerate, Mr. Ryohei. Then could I ask you to take care of the kitchen? You'll let me do that? Please, give us what you got for our kitchen. Just as you did for Ryohei. Harry can also help. Then you can also work with us. Yes, I will. Sorry, sorry. Don't worry. We get energy from every smile. Mr. Masaki, thank you so much. Don't mention it. When we're in trouble, we should help each other out. This is how our work at the lunchbox store began with Miss Makiko. The lunch menu that Miss Makiko made was popular, and there were many repeat customers. Also, Eri was actively helping out with the store and was popular as the cute poster girl. And when we finished work, we would go home together. My life that was lonely before became cheery with these two. Every day was filled with happiness, and I enjoyed every moment. One day, should we say that she's our fortune goddess? What are you talking about? Since those two have come, our sales have increased. I guess we weren't so elegant since there were no girls. That's true. Well, since you're working so hard, let me give you this. The tickets to the zoo? You three can go there, can't you? Thank you, Mr. Masaki. And on our day off... Wow! There's a lion! And there's a tiger, too! Aerie, do you like animals? Very much! I especially like rabbits. Then there's a place where we can touch the rabbits. So let's go over there. Yes! Mr. Ryuhei, thank you for your time. Mr. Masaki gave me the tickets. I didn't do anything else. But it's been a long time since I've actually seen a happy smile on Aerie's face. Since the day when you first spoke to us and until now, you've been so good to us. Since I began to live with you two, my days have changed. I used to just go to school and my part-time work. That just repeated itself. I wasn't sure if my days were fulfilling or not. They were just gray days. It was you and Eri that changed such days for me. Mr. Viohei. Mama, bro, let's go quickly. Uh, sorry, sorry, um, let's go. Miss Makiko, let's go. Yes. Eri <sighs> fell asleep. It's been a long time since we've gone out to play. But at the rabbit corner, you were also very excited about being able to pet the rabbits. Oh, please, don't say that. I didn't think there would be chinchillas. You like chinchillas, huh? They are fluffy and cute, don't you think? You were much cuter. You were so excited. Oh, please don't tease me. <laughs> a month after such happy days continued? What is this? 
It's been a month since we have started living together. So we decided to celebrate. You'd prepared so much for that? Oh no. I think I'm going to cry from happiness. Also, I drew a picture. Is this maybe Miss Makiko, me, and Ari? Yep. Thank you, Ari. Also, we baked a cake, Mom and I. What is this? My heart is overflowing with happiness. Thank you so much. <sighs> Ari fell asleep. <laughs> it was also like this at the zoo. It's so cute how she falls asleep after getting excited. Mr. Ryuhei, there is something that I've been thinking about. Something you're thinking about? I cannot just keep on running away, but I need to move forward. I want to take a step forward with you, if possible. Miss Makiko? Me? With you? Mama, I want a baby. Harry, let's go to the bathroom. Yeah. Two of us together? For that, we need to do something about her husband. Just as we were thinking about this, the incident occurred. Somebody vandalized Mr. Masaki's store! There was a security camera, and it showed a man there! Who is this? I don't know. It's not anyone that I know. Me neither. Uh... Miss Makiko? What's the matter? No, it's nothing. She looks pale. But what's going on? Could this man be? That evening, Miss Makiko, could I have a moment with you? What is it? Do you know that man? Uh... You were acting strangely, so I wondered. That was my husband, Kota. Most likely, he found out where me and my daughter were, and next time, I think you would be his target. So I am thinking about leaving tonight. You don't need to do such a thing. Mr. Ryuhei? If he comes, then let him come. But you will have to face danger. No worries. I have a plan. The next evening, as I had expected, Miss Makiko's husband came to my apartment. Hey! I know you're in there! Give Ari and Makiko back! I will not give them back to someone like you! What the hell? Playing around with someone else's wife and daughter, you! Playing around? No way! I gave them shelter from you! The worst husband! Mind your own business! This is about our family! If those two are happy, I wouldn't say anything. But when I met them the first time, they were wearing rags! They had ran away from you with nothing but what they were wearing! Why would I give them back to someone like you? What? You bastard! All right, break it up. What? Why is the police here? I'd expected that you would come, so I asked them to be on standby. You creep! I don't know what you're talking about. Thank you. Please, take care of them. You go to hell! You get what you deserve. Mr. Ryuhei! Father! Everything's all right now, so don't worry. I don't know how to thank you for this. Don't worry about it because it's something I did for myself. What do you mean? Miss Makiko, I like you. I really like you. I would be happy if we could spend our future days together. You might feel that I'm not so reliable, since I'm still a student, but I promise to be a good father to Ari. So... Mama, I would also be happy if he could be my dad. Ari wants him to be my dad. Ari, I too want to spend my future with you. Please, take care of us. Yes. This is how we became a couple. After that, Miss Makiko was able to get a divorce from her husband. A restraining order was issued to him to not come near Miss Makiko and Ari. A few months later... Papa! Mama! Look! Ari, be careful, alright? Yes! Oh, this is what one calls happiness. Miss Makiko, let us three always be together. It's not three, but four of us. What? Really? Good morning, everyone. Yusan, you're as lively as ever. Too hot-blooded if you ask me. I think it's nice to feel some energy in the morning. My name is Yusuke Sakamoto. I'm a teacher at a high school. Everyone calls me the hot-blooded teacher. My motto is that I'll do anything for my students. However, I have three students who are really bugging me. So noisy first thing in the morning. He's full of energy today as well. So noisy. These girls are Yaka Sakamoto, Hane Komatsu, and Rina Ishii. They don't like me. They take a rebellious attitude whenever they see me. I know Gyaru and Hot Blooded don't mix, but I can't just leave them alone. Good morning, you three. Do your best today. Hmm. <laughs> Ignored. Still, since when did they start to hate me? I can't think of a time. Uh, I wonder why those three won't open up to me. Oh, 
my. It looks like you sank the ship today as well. Ayase! This is my colleague, Hara Ayase. Every day is annoying, noisy, and ignoring. Well, it's common for girls around that age. They're at a sensitive age. I'm sure they probably have a lot on their mind. It's sad to be left alone at a time like that. I know I may be imposing and acting selfishly, but... I think it's our job as teachers to push students, even if it annoys them. Ayase. I'm sure if you keep trying, one day they'll open up. The fuck? You're a nice guy. Anyway, tomorrow's our day off, so do you want to go for a drink? The best thing for a tired soul is to forget about everything. It'll be your treat, though. I'll be happy to. Now that's what I like to hear. Thanks for accompanying me. We won't be able to drink together like this for long, so... I want to listen while I still can. You really are a nice guy. I know. What? Hold on, look. Uh, what's wrong? Aren't they... Hmm? Ah, it's Matsumoto, them! Hey, what are you guys doing at this hour? Ugh, it's you, Sen. Looks like we've been found. This sucks. It's past midnight? You know better than to be walking around this hour. What would you do if something happened? Shut up and just leave us alone. It has nothing to do with you teachers. Yeah, what they said. Of course it does. You guys are my precious students. Precious my ass. Just looking at you two all lovey-dovey hanging out together this late at night. Yeah, you guys are really close. Where are you two headed, huh? Filthy. Well, that's lovey-dovey. What are you guys talking about? Don't act all innocent. You know you guys are on your way home from a date. You two are dating, right? Lovers fling. It's a misunderstanding. I could never with a guy like this. What do you mean, like this? Just stating facts. You don't have to pretend. Even at school, the two of you are super close. I mean, we're in the same middle school, high school, university, and even work. We're like childhood friends or something. Besides, I have a boyfriend, see? Well, it's Trill. Oh, he's the exact opposite of you, Sin. A good-looking guy. Then, that means... He's single? A bachelor. So what if I am? I enjoy living alone. Huh. Hmm. Oh. Well, what's with that reaction? Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> anyway, you guys should go home. Or rather, I'll send each of you off one by one. All right, already. We'll take the offer. Go, go. The day after the incident. Good morning, everyone. Loud as ever, you said. You'll ruin our eardrum. Come on, I'm not that loud. Good morning, you said. What? I said good morning. Masamoto, you? What? Is it that strange for me to say hello? No, I'm just happy. You've never responded to me like that before. Oh, um, yeah. Well, there were a lot of things going on in my end. Oh, here, Yusen. I'll give you this. What's this? That's a lot of bread. I wanted this special flavor, but ended up having too many, so you can have them. But this is too much. Then I'll throw it away. Then I'll eat it. So fast. Of course, you shouldn't let food go to waste. Don't bite if you can't eat it all. But thanks. I'll make this my lunch. Hmm. I never thought that the day would come when Matsumoto would say hello to me. I'm glad I believed that I would reach you someday. Teacher! Ah! Aww, I feel hurt if you act so surprised. Komatsu! Don't help me out of nowhere! Oh, you surprised me. What's the deal with you? I simply wanted to make physical contact with you. Since I previously ignored you, I hoped that it would bridge the gap between us. <laughs> Thanks, but hugging the opposite sex in that manner is not acceptable. Why is that? Because some might misunderstand and attack you. What about you? You wouldn't attack me. Of course not. You are my precious student. Jeez, that's what makes you so wonderful. Uh, did you say something? Uh, nothing. If you understand, then let go. Oh, so heartless. Both Matsumoto and Komatsu are awfully friendly today for some reason. It feels like all that hate from before never existed. It would be nice if I could get along with Ishii at this rate. Ugh, so sleepy. Maybe I'll get some rest here. Mm. There, 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 there. 
Hmm? There, 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 there. What? Is someone patting my head? Who is? Ah. Uh. Uh, hmm. Ah! Ishi, what are you doing? What's a lap pillow? Why? Since you were sleeping soundly, I didn't want to wake you. That's your reason? Yeah. You shouldn't just let anybody lay on your lap like that since you can get attacked by someone who misunderstands. You wouldn't? Of course not. You are my precious student. I'm having an odd sense of deja vu. Hmm? Didn't I say the same thing to Komatsuna when she hugged me? Hmm. Is that so? What's wrong? Oh, it's fine since I got to see your adorable sleeping face. Uh, please forget about it. <laughs> From that day on, the sense of distance between us immediately shrank. They used to ignore me, but now they greet me and try skinship any time they have the chance. I'm happy that they opened up to me, but I'm a little confused and bothered by the sudden change. What triggered it? Hmm, I have no clue. One day, a week from scratching my head. You, son. What's wrong, you three? We want you to help us study. Teach us, teach us. Uh. uh what's with the silence? You don't want to teach us something? Uh. What? Don't suddenly burst into tears. What's wrong? Does your stomach hurt or something? Are you all right? No, it's not that. I'm happy you guys finally want to study. What's more, you Percy came to ask for help. I'm so moved. You're so dramatic. Even we want to do our best before a test. Yeah, yeah. Even so. All right, I will teach you with all my might. So, let's get a good score. Uh, what's going on? What do you mean? We're studying. It will be easier to learn if we stick with you like this, right? Great progress. Ah, uh, Zayf, you're too close. You shouldn't recklessly stick to people. Uh, you guys need to be more aware that you're attractive ladies. Then, will you put your hands on us? Like I told the two earlier, I have no intention of laying my hands on my precious students. T what's with that? If you guys aren't serious about studying, then I'm going home. We will, we will. Study properly. Sorry, please don't be angry. We study, we listen. Alrighty then, I'll explain from the beginning. Hey, teach. If I score well, I'd like a reward. Reward? A reward would certainly be motivating. Highly motivated. Even if I say that, I can't give you guys special treatment. We want you to take us seriously. Mm, what do you mean? You take what we want to tell you seriously. That will be our reward. Easy peasy. You guys are okay with just that? If that's all, not don't mind. Alright, you just watch. I'll definitely get a good score. Perfect score. This is how I ended up aiding Matsumoto, Komatsu, and Ishii with their studies. We didn't make much progress at first because they were too focused on me, but after I promised a reward, they began studying. Then one day, as I was tutoring them... Is it true? It's missing? Yeah. The thing we will lose are question sheets. I wonder who the culprit is. It's definitely one of the problematic kids. Like the Gyaru trio. Wait a minute, that's... If I remember correctly, Sakamoto-sensei, you're in charge of him, right? They would never do such a thing! Plus, they've been studying hard recently. So what? Uh, it's still true that they behave badly. Do you really think they changed merely after doing something good once? For all we know, they could have gone to detention to town went to steal the papers. They would never! What's that supposed to mean? You guys? What are you trying to say about us? How could you doubt us when we haven't done anything? Shocker. This is a... We hate you all! Wait! Wait, guys! You think we're the culprits, right? Bad guy. Villain. No, I don't. There's no way you guys would steal. You'll believe us? Of course. I doubt you'd do anything to let all your hard work go to waste. You, Sen. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But you're the only one who would believe us. That's why I'll catch the culprit. I'm sure what the culprit really wants is the answer she. I'm sure they'll come back again to steal it, so I'll catch him. Then we'll help too. No, I can't let you do such a dangerous thing. Please, trust me and wait for me. Is what I said, yet why are you guys here? Because we were worried and wanted to help. I can't just make them go home on their own this late. All right, for now, just follow me. If it gets dangerous, you have to run away, all right? Got it. Okay, leave it to me. Now then, the answer sheets are in the stuff room. If the criminal is coming to steal it, they will definitely have to pass through here. I will definitely capture it. He's here! Leave it to me! Hey! Uh, get tighter! Uh, he ran away! I'll chase after him. Don't act on your own! He's so fast! 
Me next. I won't let you get away. Glug! <laughs> he dodged, but up ahead is. Gotcha! Yeah! That's our teacher! We knew you could do it! You guys need to be careful! What will you do if you get hurt? But. Cuz. Hmm. I didn't want you guys to get hurt by doing such a dangerous thing, but well, thank you for your help. I'm so glad you guys were here. You, Sen! <laughs> Satisfied. Hey, get off me! After this, we called the police after detaining the culprit. His motive was to sell the answer sheets. As a result of this, the teachers apologized to the students for having suspected them. And the girls astounded their teachers by scoring 80 or higher in every subject. So, the reward, right? That's right! You remembered! I'm glad. Thanks. So, what did you want to say to me? Ready and... I love you! I love you. Love you. Well, uh, wait a minute, like as in... Uh... We really like you, for real! You may not remember this, but you saved me from a scary upperclassman, and so I fell in love with you. I was stigmatized because of the way I look. They thought that I'm a total flirt. But you weren't like that. You treated me as the same as everyone else. That made me happy. When I fell, you carried me on your back. You were nice to me. You helped me when I was feeling sick too. Teacher, you are kind. Very warm. I like that about you. But you guys hated me. Because we thought you were going out with Miss Ayase. We were trying to suppress our love for you. We thought we had to say goodbye to this feeling. But we found out otherwise, so... We can't stop feeling this love. Love is a hurricane. That's why, you said, we really like you. Love, love, smooch, smooch. Choose one of us as your lover. I'll make you happy. Your destined partner is me. Uh, thanks, but I can't be your lover. Didn't I tell you that several times before? I will not touch my students. Is that right? I understand. Then... I'll keep shooting our shot until we graduate. On the graduation ceremony, pick one of us. Huh? Be prepared. Love doesn't end easily. Huh? Love will push and push and knock you down. Seriously? Alright, so... Please accept... Our love! Ah, calm down! Oh, the fierce love battle between me and three girls is another story. My name is Kimiyaki Kimizakura. I'm 16 years old, and I'm in the second year of high school. I have no particular interest in chemistry, and there are only two members in the chemistry club. But the reason why I belong to it is because... <laughs> I have finally completed it! My long-awaited medicine! With this medicine, then I can say... Ouch! Uh, I mean, uh, it doesn't hurt, but what are you doing? You were in your mad scientist zone again. So I thought I needed to put a break on it, Iris. It's fine to stop me, but hitting my head is a no-no. If the beautiful genius girl brain is damaged, that would be a big loss for the world. You need to treasure and hope this world more. The girl who says that she's pretty or the world's something and has the habit of making herself look bigger than she is, is a friend of mine from my childhood. Iris Iritsky, 16 years old. She's also the head of the chemistry club. She's been obsessed with chemistry ever since she was a kid, and she has created many medicines. The reason why I belong to a chemistry club is because I need to make sure that Iris doesn't lose control when she gets too involved with her chemistry experiments. As usual, you do exaggerate. It may sound like I am exaggerating things now, but... One day, I will be appreciated by many people around the world, and will be of use to them. I am the woman who will create the medicine of happiness. My medicine will save the world. She started saying these things when she saw a news program when she was an elementary school student. She saw heartbreaking news and thought that she would like to take away at least one of such heartbreaking matters. Iris, you're cool. Good luck. I'm cheering for you. Oh, thanks. I have been doing chemistry ever since I was little, and I knew not to get along with my classmates. I was kind of isolated in my class, but Kimiyaki was different, and was always by my side. When I talked about chemistry, he never looked annoyed and listened to what I wanted to say. He also joined the chemistry club. 
I joined in order to keep an eye on you, is what he said. But I think it's because he doesn't want to feel lonely. Probably. I have always liked kind Kimiyaki ever since I was a child. If you are going to cheer me on, I have a request to make. Could you hear me out? Hmm? What is it? I want you to drink this great medicine that I've completed. Well, that would depend on the content. What kind of medicine is it? It's a secret. That is so suspicious. That's not suspicious. Have I ever made any suspicious medicines before? Yes, there were. When I was in junior high, there was a medicine for making people taller, but instead, I grew mushrooms out of my head. Oh, your height grew by 30 centimeters. Don't count the mushrooms for the physical height. Mushrooms are not part of my body. I promise that you won't grow mushrooms out of your head, so please drink. It's not about mushrooms. We were going back and forth for about two minutes, but by accident, the beaker left Iris's hand and fell on top of her head. Her head was covered with the beaker's contents. Yay, this is the precious medicine. I need to wipe it off. Oh, I'm getting the medicine in my mouth. This is not good. So it was a suspicious medicine. It was not suspicious. It is. This is called the truth medicine, and it makes you unable to tell a lie. And everything that's in your heart. So that's all that you can think straight out of your mouth. It seems like you already can't lie about this. Well, I'll wipe your head to begin with. Thanks. As usual, you are good at taking care of me. And why do you want me to drink such a thing? Well, that is a secret, but I guess I can't do that for now. The reason why I wanted to make you drink it is because I've always liked you a lot ever since I was little. I wanted to know about how you feel about me. You liked me? Oh, I had no idea. That's what I thought. Well, let's end the conversation now. It's what I want to say, but I want to know how you really think of me. If you could, could you tell me? I have no more solution to make the truth medicine with. I like you too, Iris. But I think that's as a childhood friend. I see. Then we can continue to be good friends as we have always been. But actually, I want to be your girlfriend to be honest. So what should I do? I've only done chemistry my entire life, so I don't really know. But the effect of the medicine lasts for about a week. So I will keep telling you how much I like you during this time. I can't hide my feelings anyhow. I feel like this week is going to be quite dramatic. <laughs> the next morning, I went to Iris's house so that we could go to school together. Morning, Iris. Morning, Kimiyaki. Today you are extremely cool. Those clear eyes, beautiful nose, attractive lips. I can't stop staring at them. Well, my true feelings just came rolling out of my mouth. Oh, this is embarrassing. To be told those things makes me embarrassed. She'd been having such thoughts on a daily basis. That makes me feel embarrassed. Then shall we hold hands as we go to school? Oh, that was my real thoughts coming out. Sorry, I forget what I just said. Oh, okay. Even if I can't hold hands with you, I am happy to be able to go to school with you like this, Kimiyaki. The things Iris was telling me were things I had not realized before. Even a dull-witted guy like me now knew how much Iris liked me. In our classroom, she and I sit next to each other. But during every break time, she would say, Kimiyaki, I like you a lot. Oh, my true feelings again. How many times have I told you this today? It's the eighth time. You're counting? If you count, this makes me even more embarrassed. Oh, sorry, but you don't say that during class. I am focused on the class. Even if it's not chemistry, I like studying. I see. That's good. You're a genius. So even if you don't take any class, you would probably get full marks on the test. But that you're so serious and attending class every time? I respect you for that. Yeah, thanks for praising me. I like Kimiyaki that praises me too. Please praise me more. You look good in a white gown. <laughs> really? It's the best when I'm praised by you, Kimiyaki. Iris kept on telling me how much she likes me every day. But after being told that so many times, I became very self-conscious about our relationship. Then, 
on the fifth day after she had drank the truth medicine, I went to her house as usual to pick her up. Morning, Kimiyaki. What happened? You look pale! It's nothing. Well, actually, I am worried about the relationship with you, Kimiyaki. From now on, I created this medicine that lets me dream about the future. And I saw this dream that was lying down on the ground with blood coming out of my head. My face looked completely white, and I looked like I had died. Was that medicine a success? I think it was a success. After all, there are no such mushrooms growing out of my head. That is rather persuasive. Your failed medicine always makes one grow mushrooms on their heads. Well, since I am a genius, I am not particularly worried about my future. That ends with my death. No, it's a lie. I am really scared. What should I do, Kimiyaki? Do you think I'm going to die? I don't want to. I won't let you. What? I will protect you, Iris, for sure. I will completely destroy such a bad future. Save your tears for when you are saved. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Kimiyaki. You are so kind. I like you. I like you too much, really. It's not only the prophetic dream medicine, but also the truth medicine's effect is still there. So how far into the future can this medicine let you see? Up until three days ago, I had planned to be able to see until three months into the future. But I made a mistake with the amount. So your prophetic dream might come true within the next three days, then? That's right. Also, I couldn't see whether it's something that happens indoors or outdoors. I could only see myself lying on the ground in the dark. So it doesn't necessarily mean that it would be safe just because I stayed indoors. Then we can spend the day as usual. But I want to be your bodyguard for 24 hours. Is that all right? What? 24 hours? But we should take baths separately. It's what I want to say, but the truth is, if you want to, then... <laughs> I, I could wear a bathing suit and take a bath with you. I will not take a bath with you! You're not that nervous, although you saw such a gloomy dream. <laughs> That's because I'm a genius. Also, I believe that you will help me change my destiny. Well, I guess it's better than being depressed. This is how I came to be Iris's bodyguard for three days. And in order to avoid her prophetic dream from coming true, we took other measures as well. In my prophetic dream, I was bleeding from my head, so I prepared a helmet. What do you think? Does it look good on me? Yes, you are the number one woman for looking good wearing a helmet. I wonder if that's something I should be happy about. There is another medicine I created in the past that heals any type of wound. I will always carry that with me. It doesn't make you grow mushrooms when you drink it, right? No, you can trust this medicine because mushrooms don't grow. This is how we continue to make our plan of action. And I spent every day with Iris. Nothing happened. And it was now the third day. If nothing happens on this day, then what the prophetic dream showed can be avoided. We want to go home, but it's starting to rain. Should we share an umbrella? Didn't you have an umbrella as well? I lost it is a lie. I wanted to share the umbrella with you, Kimiyaki. Hmm. To share an umbrella with someone who is wearing a helmet? It can't be helped, since I have to protect my life. That's true. Then let's go home. Yes. When we were on our way home, suddenly, a suspicious guy appeared. Miss Chemistry! I came to fetch you. Miss Chemistry is me? Iris, get back! Who are you? I am a martial artist and live in an apartment near your high school. I always observe the chemistry room and watch you with my binoculars, Miss Chemistry. But I can no longer just watch. But I want to get my hands on you and put you in my room. So I came to fetch you. Oh my god, this guy is nuts! Even a genius like me can't understand his level of insanity. Uh... You're in my way! Out with you! Because the suspicious guy attacked us with a metal bat, I caught his swing with the umbrella that I had prepared especially for this sort of occasion. Iris, get away! Sorry, I'm in shock and I can't move. It can't be helped. I have to get this guy away. This guy definitely has something to do with your prophetic dream, which means that if we can do something about him, the dream won't come true. As I fought the guy, 
The umbrella flew out of my hands, and in that moment, he hit my head with his bat! Kimiyaki! I didn't mean to hit him. I just wanted to scare him away. Yikes! Suspicious guy ran away screaming, so I dragged myself over to Kimiyaki's side. Kimiyaki, wake up! I called the ambulance with my smartphone, and then I took out the medicine I had created and put it in my mouth and transferred it into his mouth. Please, wake up. A few minutes later, Kimiyaki, who's been lying on my knees, suddenly woke up. My medicine worked! Oh, I'm alive? Kimiyaki! Kimiyaki, I'm glad that you woke up. I was so worried about you. I'm sorry I made you worry. But are you all right? You didn't get injured? I'm fine because you protected me. That guy also ran away. I see. That prophetic dream was avoided. Also, I was hit on the head. But it doesn't hurt at all. This means... Yes, I gave you the medicine I had created. Oh, I made the drink by giving it to you mouth to mouth. I could have done it normally, but why did I do such a thing? Well, it was quicker to do it mouth to mouth, and that judgment was genius. But I can't say that to Kimiyaki. So you gave me the medicine then. Thanks. Why are you blushing? I am not hiding anything. You are the number one woman who can't hide anything, right? That's right. I am the world's most honest, genius, beautiful chemist. But I cannot... Oh? Oh, I can't hide it. Yes! I guess the truth's medicine effects wear off. Wow, that was hard work. I never want to drink it again. I am a little disappointed. What? Why? Because I wanted you to tell me that you like me more. Because I like you too. What? You like me? Since you drank that medicine and told me how much you liked me and praised me, I became really aware of you. When I heard about your prophetic dream, I thought I have to do something no matter what, and it was really painful to hear it. I'm so glad that you're alive now. I'm completely in love with you, Iris. I also, uh... What is it? Do you have something stuck in your throat? It's not it. Well, it's embarrassing and it's hard for me to express my feelings. For a genius like me, it's very demanding. I don't think being a genius has anything to do with it. You were saying so often how you liked me. It seems that I was able to say that because of the effect of the truth medicine. I now realize that it is hard to say one's feelings without the medicine. Could you wait about a year? That's long, but it's fine. I will wait until you overcome your shyness. Oh, really? The shy Iris is also extremely cute. Seeing you like that also brings me happiness. Oh, wow. The life I will lead together with Iris will continue to be a series of happy chemical reactions. I didn't understand what was happening to me. I like you. I seriously like you now. This couldn't be happening. She was such an outgoing and a popular person. And the teary eyes that were looking at me? It's the truth. I'm not lying. You can confirm it one more time if you want now. Miss Shiranami. Oh, that's right. Everything started when I started using that. <laughs> no way. This is so not true. Those outgoing girls are energetic as usual. It's the usual scene. The usual noise. But I don't find it annoying. For those girls, I'm introverted and not much of an existence that I live in another world. It's like watching some people on screen. It's a good match when eating lunch. Ouch! Oh, wow, no way! Oh my god! That must be the lie detector. Those extroverted girls play with many different things. I've seen it on a video. If you lie, you get a light electric shock. It's like a toy meant for parties. All right, next is Maho. It's your turn, Maho. Do you have a guy that you like now? No, I don't have anyone. Ouch! What? What did she say? There's someone she likes? Miss Shiranami likes someone? No, it's wrong. I don't have any more. Oh, man. You seem a little flustered. Suspicious. Come on, who is it? We're going to ask an extra question. Her name is Maho Shiranami. In terms of the class hierarchy, she's at the top. She's a very girly kind of person. 
She's very cheery, warm, cute, and just looking at her makes one happy. To tell the truth, the reason I like to observe those girls is because of her. Oh, I wonder who it is. Okuda, Kido, or who is it? Was there anyone else? I don't really care whether the machine works or not, but who does she like? I want to know. Oh, right. Takayama. Is it Naoki Takoyama? No, that's wrong. Ouch. Takayama? Oh, I see. Naoki Takayama. Uh, hmm? Naoki Takayama. No. Really? Is this for real? Oh, wow. That's unexpected. You like the introverted types. No, that's not it. No. Listen to me. Oh, man. I'm so annoyed. I wish she would have listened to me. How scary. She's seriously angry. When a beautiful person is angry, it is truly scary. To think I have to escape such a place as this. This is so infuriating. What is this? Jeez. But anyway, Takiyama, that was a lie, all right? That stupid machine made a mistake. I don't think much about you at all. Sorry to tell you this, but that's just how it is. Of course! I'm all right, I know. All right, then. I can't even eat my meal in peace. Jeez. Yeah, I see. <laughs> Those gals just want to make fun of me. How childish of them. What? They've already uploaded a video of what happened? The comments are truly sickening. What? What's going on? Oh no, so many people are viewing this. It's getting out of hand. Oh, Takayama is there too. Isn't this infringement of portrait rights? Oh gosh, isn't the timing too good? That scene is very well caught on camera. You and I are already considered to be going out. What is this chorus of congratulations? Ugh, this is disgusting. In the comments, there were sarcastic comments, as well as those who were making fun of an introvert like me. Right, this is too much. I can't bear to see these comments. I'm not sure what to say, but I'm really sorry. <sighs> Why are you apologizing? This is where you should get angry. You are being treated as the lowest being of introverts, you know. Ouch! I knew that. But when she says such words to me, they hurt really bad. What should I do? It wouldn't feel good to let people continue on like this and wait until they get bored of it. I also inconvenienced Takayama. Oh, right. Do you want to go out with me for real then? What? Who and who? You and I. What? Well, recently there are many guys who ask me out and they are all irritating me. And these guys are those drooling while looking at my chest and thighs. Miss Shiranami was popular with many good-looking guys, and they always asked her to go out with them. To keep on saying no to them is getting tiring. Probably this incident is because I turned out a guy called Kawaguchi. There are those that are incredibly jealous of us, and they are trying to attack my group of friends. It's a good opportunity, so as a neutral boyfriend figure, that would help me. What do you say? Wah! She's close to me. Her hand is warm. If we pretend to be going out and make out with each other, you might become a little popular too, you know. We could start off by doing a trial of being girlfriend and boyfriend to each other. I understand. I agreed right away. There was no way I could refuse. All right then, let's start from today. Oh, uh, that's a little too unnatural. I guess we need to be mentally prepared for this. So from tomorrow, from tomorrow, we are boyfriend and girlfriend, okay? Okay. What is this, a dream? I'm going out with Miss Shiranami? What? This is how we started to go out with a trial start. Morning. I had expected it, but we are attracting so much attention. Everyone's voices of confusion are more than yesterday. Everyone has their mouths open as if to say they couldn't believe it and are staring at us both. Maho, is this a joke? What are you talking about? I just went to school with my boyfriend. Uh, her breasts are pressed against me. How soft. Wow. No, isn't that right? Yes. <laughs> I get such a kick out of it every time I remember it. 
You got bright red and you were shaking! Takayama, you are quite a cute guy, although unexpected. Please, don't make fun of me! It's natural that I would get nervous. Calm down and don't be so angry. We'll have some lunch and you can feel better. You can have some of my sweet bread! Uh, about that. If you would like... What? Uh, what is this? Did you make it, Takayama? Yes, I did. This is so unexpected. You can cook? Well, there are many couples in our class. During lunchtime, there are many students having fun with each other, and so... I got jealous of them, and my stress built up. So I imagined that I had a girlfriend who would prepare lunch for me, and so... I was working on making my own lunch every day. That's how I came to be able to prepare something like this. That is creepy. I would agree. Oh, but this is really good. Oh my god, it's so good. What? You're going to eat it? You made it for me, and it would be a pity not to. I don't bear any grudge on lunch itself. Oh? Wow, the egg roll is sweet and soft. It's kind of strange, but delicious. Cool. Everything is so good. Ah, this is great. You are exactly what I like. I'm relieved. It's gotten more praise than I expected. She's eating it with such relish. Please, eat a lot if you'd like. You can eat mine too. Do you have a moment? Kawaguchi? Could you think over what I asked you last time? Say, that person, he is Kawaguchi, right? He is in the soccer club. That name, even I knew. He was the top player and captain of the soccer team, Kawaguchi. I heard that he's really popular among the girls, but I can understand. He's so good looking and cool. No thanks, I already have a boyfriend. What? You don't mean that introvert guy who's sitting with you? This has nothing to do with you, right? It's lunchtime, so could you go someplace else? Wow, that was direct. She doesn't fiddle around, does she? What is that attitude? I feel sorry for Kawaguchi. Yikes! Lots of glares from all around. Is this what she was talking about yesterday? About the unpleasant atmosphere in the classroom? This egg roll is so good! Please make this again tomorrow! Isn't she pushing it a little bit? What does she plan to do? Oh, uh, Takuya... No? Do you have any plans after school? No, I don't. Oh, then it's decided. Why don't we go somewhere together since you made me lunch? Yes, karaoke! What? I have no idea what's going on. I just tagged along because she invited me. But is this all right? Come on, put in a song in the machine. You can put whatever you like. Ah, uh, is it all right? To leave your friend behind and to be with me? Hmm. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. It's better to be direct than leave things unclear and make him have hopes. It's much better afterwards. I'll take care of it later, but now I want to put some distance from them. I got tired of being with them a little bit. Okay, I've set it up. I'm singing first. She sings well. It must be such a torture to be singing with an introvert like me. But she was singing as though she was having a good time. Okay, Takayama, it's your turn. I'm the only one singing so far. Oh, yes. Yes, that's it! She did not make fun of my terrible singing voice. Instead, she clapped along and enjoyed the song together. I was feeling shy, but I was happy and enjoyed myself so much that I kept on singing one song after the other. Oh, I know this song. I'll also sing it with you. Whoa! This moment was like a dream. I lost track of the time because I was having so much fun singing karaoke with her. <sighs> it's been a long time since I've sang so much. But I'm with the other girls. I can't sing the songs that I like. Oh, is that right? Then I'm glad. You looked like you were having fun too, especially towards the end. Yes, I had fun. I had really a lot of fun. Takayama, it's unexpectedly easy to talk with you. I'm so surprised. And you don't stare at my chest. I thought after spending the day with you today that we are a pretty good match for each other. What do you think? Yes, I also think that, yes. Okay, then let's continue going out. 
I look forward to seeing you tomorrow too, no? After that, our going out started for real. Oh, it's a new menu. Let's go eat it. I will treat you this time. Thank you. I was the indoors type, but thanks to her, I was going around to many places that she took me to. Oh, this looks good on you. Why don't you try a new look? Hmm, isn't this cute? But maybe it's a little too revealing. This is cute. Wow, it's expensive. It's super expensive. That can't be right. Miss Shiranami always seemed happy and cheerful. I thought that she had belonged to a different world from mine, so I couldn't believe that I was by her side. All right, let's take a photo. One, two, three, cheese! Cheese! <laughs> now you were bright red again. You really should get used to this by now. I know, but it's hard. You are cute now. Are you complimenting me? I am, I am. You really are cute. <laughs> little by little, I was getting to know the world that I had not known before. She was helping me expand my world. For me, this was a very fresh and precious experience. Before I knew it, spending time with her became a lot of fun. Oh, by the way, we have a test coming up. How depressing. How's your studying going? Math is hopeless. I get a headache just from looking at formulas and stuff. I had such a hard time for the entrance exams. Oh, then. Shall we study together? Really? Is that all right with you? Yes. If you don't mind studying with me, you can ask me whatever you don't understand. My grades are not so bad. Yes, that would be great. Thanks. That would be such a help. I thought it might be a bit too much, but she seemed to be really happy. I'm glad I worked up my courage to ask her. That's right. You use this formula here and... Oh, I see. That is really easy to understand. It can get confusing in mathematics if you just try to follow the words. I think that you aren't bad at mathematics, but if you just change the way you remember things, then it would get easier to understand, right? That's true. Oh, you are incredible. Wow. Let's take a break. I brought some tea and cookies, so please, help yourself. Are these handmade cookies? You made them? Uh, <laughs> it's nothing. Wow, yummy! I'm glad. They're not so high in calories. So if you eat a little too much, it's still alright. You really know what to do in all occasions. Super! Here you are. The tea is hot, so please, be careful. Uh. Hmm? Is anything wrong? No, nothing. What was that? I felt my heart skip a beat. Maybe I should have made them smaller so that they would have been easier to eat. That way the calories would have been less. He is easier to talk to than I thought, and he makes me feel at ease when he's with me. And he is always considerate of me. It's my first time to meet a boy like him. Oh, did you say something? No, <laughs> it's nothing. I said that it's my first time that I've eaten such delicious cookies. <laughs> you exaggerate. But I'm happy that you seem happy. Mmm, yes, it's yummy. Really yummy, thanks. It's almost a month since we've been going out. I was looking at that on my smartphone as I thought this. A month anniversary. Is that something girls would be happy about? She always lets me enjoy the time with her. So I want to thank her somehow. Hmm? Oh! This one looks good. I could make this, and it's within my budget. But maybe this is a bit too heavy. She might say that it's disgusting. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, a present for our one month anniversary? Oh, yes. So it's a surprise, you see. Can I open it? Yes. Is this? This is a handkerchief that you said was cute before. It was expensive and we couldn't buy it. But I thought I could try to imitate the design at least. You remember that? I guess a handmade present was too much. Since it was a trial going out, was it too much to give her a one month anniversary gift? I'm happy. Thank you, No. Oh, yes! No, you notice many things. You do things that make me happy, and that is... well... Miss Shiranami? Oh, Maho! Kawaguchi? 
You're still with that introvert? Isn't that boring? Don't you think you've done enough service for him by now? Can you stop making fun of now? It's seriously unpleasant. What? What on earth? I'm giving you a chance, but why are you defending such a guy? Ah! Oh, oh stop! Let me go, you fool! Maho, you should choose me! I would be much better for you than this guy! Stop it! No! no! Stop it! What the hell? Get out of my way! That's my line! No! She's my girlfriend! I will not give her to you! How dare you, you bastard! Wait! I recorded everything you just did to her. It's saved on cloud, so destroying this won't delete it. The moment when you grab Miss Shiranami's arm, I can post this on the internet. You know what that means, don't you? Oh! Uh, if you understood me, then never come near her again. Man, fine. I don't give a damn about a girl like her. Oh. Thank you, No. Are you all right? You look absolutely frozen there. <laughs> I'm glad I managed to fool him. But I'm sorry it took me so long to intervene. I hope you aren't hurt. Oh, Miss Shiranami, that... Uh... What? The button's about to fall off. That bastard. He was abusive. Please, hold on a bit. It's fine. I'll sew it back on right away. Uh... I'm sorry. I would have been better if I could have driven him away in a more cool fashion. As an introvert, that was my limit. If he had persisted a little longer, it would have been dangerous. It's really not good to do things one isn't accustomed to doing. Well, I'm glad that Miss Shiranami was alright. No. Okay, finished. Oh wow, it's already so late. Let's go. We'll be late for our next class. Oh, okay. Hmm? Nobody's here. Oh, that's right. We're supposed to be in a different classroom for this period. Ah, uh, I think it was in the viewing room. So let's get ready. Hmm? Miss Shironami, that... On the table was that lie detector. It was only a month ago. But that incident seemed like such a long time ago. It was this lie detector that started the whole thing. That's right. There was someone in the classroom who asked a strange question. Miss Shiranami, do you like me? What? <laughs> Just kidding. Miss Shiranami? The level of accuracy for a lie detector is not high. After all, it's just a party toy, and it's not meant to measure a person's heart. But now, the expression on her face was completely different from the one she had on a month ago. No. What? <laughs> I could not understand what was going on for a moment. What's happening to me? I... 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 I like you. I really like you. I seriously like you now. There's no way. She's one of the most popular girls in class. And she's looking at me with teary eyes. It's true. This is not a lie. You can check it one more time if you want. Miss Shiranami... Please believe me. I really, truly like you now. I could feel her heart beat from her chest. I didn't need a lie detector to understand. Her heart was beating fast, and that told me what I wanted to know. From her eyes, the tears fell. And in that moment, when I saw that, I felt something in me explode. Me too. I like you too, Miss Shiranami. Really? Really? Yes. Yes. She's always cheerful, gentle, and gives me an energetic smile. I've always liked her. And I always will like her. I'm not lying either. Oh. After that, there were no words. We hugged and kissed each other to confirm our feelings for each other. It felt as though the time had stopped in a classroom where nobody was present except us. We were in our own world, and only our heartbeats could be heard. Maho, sorry. I heard that Kawaguchi was violent to you, right? We went a little too far. You are always popular and have a strong character, so we thought we could do anything. Sorry, Maho. And also, Takayama, sorry. I'll erase the video and... The girls looked apologetic. 
It seems like there was a student who had seen everything on the school rooftop. Well, what should we do now? I'm fine if you're fine. It's fine. I also had a bad attitude, to be honest. Maho! I can't forgive you girls for making fun of him, but thanks to that, I was able to go out with him. Miss Shiranami! <laughs> I guess we'll call it even. Right now? Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.